Comedy Store yeah. Podcast. I'm your host, Richard Allen Ingram. <laughs> That's a loud laugh girl. <laughs> Whose name cares? The whole. Oh, yeah. Did you ever have Laugh Girl on early morning radio? Oh, Laugh Girl. <laughs> I'm not a good laugher. It's a, a, it's a staple of the mid city, the mid city number three morning radio yeah. channel. It's never the best ones. It's never uh, Johnny like, Dare in the morning. Welcome, Annie. <laughs> well, now they let the women talk. Yeah. Is that they, true? They only oh. let them talk if they're giggling. You are right. It is very, they are, they're pushed to the side. They're put, they're, they're sure. forced into that whole role. What? We're stopping it. And by the way, Annie Letterman is here, guys. Yes, we have to introduce it's the guest. They said put them on. Put them on. <laughs> Last time I was Stunner. on, she's here, but she's not happy about it. She's... Last time I was on, <laughs> she said, "Make the lights brighter," and then she put on shades. So smart. Last time I was on, yes. I didn't make the thumbnail. <laughs> Ouch! What? I was pissed. No, I was trying to tell the last producer I was going, if you don't put the people, because it was me and Bobby Lee, I go, put Bobby Lee's face. He had you guys like, you were, it was like half of Eleanor's ear was in it. Oh, shit. That's my was, best feature, though. So usually, like, is it this ear? I seen that as. It was just yeah. my Adam's apple. I seen that as. <laughs> I watched it go down these stairs. Ooh. Damn. And Bumpity I was in front bump. of her. That's how oh. big her ass is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said that to me. They said they could see your ass from behind. No, she go. He goes. Uh, damn, you got a nice ass. I could see it from the front. And I was like, well, wait, what? I guess that's a very kind way of saying you have a big ass. You have a fupa. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I said that, and, and he said no. He said he mean because well, I, I don't think in that about? culture, which he's, we can tell by the accent, this guy was they basically say fupa. yeah. Th this guy was basically old school. You totally, know? totally. He was, he was basically Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Pretty. Well, close. he doesn't sound. Frank you got Sinatra. a shape to you. <laughs> Basically what he was saying. I want to go back to the accent she used because, <laughs> wow. Okay. Because at this point, remember. I'm thinking I'm not in the business of canceling people for just jumping into black yeah. but I'm assuming this man was of color. Yes, Exciting. it is funny to bring someone up like and address their race before they <laughs> do. Do you? No. Well, I guess I have. Would say, like, I have. You have like, this next black guy is black. <laughs> as black as night. I brought up uh, Quincy Weekly one time as a chocolate teddy bear. Is that racist? I thought Eleanor. it was sexy. Canceled. We'll have you... a new host next week, guys. For you to Quincy be hit... Weekly. For you to be hitting on Quincy Weekly like I that know. when your father's still alive is so disrespectful. I know, but I'm trying to kill him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she wants that typewriter money. Yeah, I got to get that ribbon her, money. She Come wants on, her, man. Her slice of the <laughs> typewriter dough. I'm going to get a, an Olympia. All now, right. are you guys really trying to not say names on this podcast? No, no you can say no. whatever you want. I was going to say, I've had just an epic history of of truly just yeah. name, full names. Well, what I found oh, yeah. is we can get really down and dirty, but those guys... The, they get uncomfortable. They'll, they'll edit it all out. Oh, that's fine because you can just go into the flow. Just beep yeah. us out. No, I, they know what's going on. They work for the man. <laughs> I, right? Every time I podcast with Tim Dillon, it's so fun because I always think we're going to not name names. And the minute he names a name, I go, "Oh fuck! Oh, oh he's saying oh, it. Oh, we're going to name names. Okay." There's always like a text thread with us and whoever we're talking <laughs> shit on. Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't mind naming names. Who yeah, do you want to talk about? Let's call them out. Let's get them down here. Who are we doing? Is this live? Are we still live? Yeah, yeah. We've been doing this. Oh, it is live? No, God, no. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, this one will are... be. We have one this listener. This one's coming Ready? out June or July 2025. <laughs> oh, I love that. We're you have on any... a bit of a delay. You have anything to promote? Oh, we got to be July? So we got to send it through the, the Canadian censors. <laughs> oh, my tits so. by then. Imagine I just got a boot. Just... Oh, my God. No. Annie, that, that would be that. so fucking funny. If I just if I got a boob job, it would ruin my. I think it would ruin my whole image. Person, but when you, when you were wearing that my fake over, boobs. Oh, that was tremendous. I like my fake boobs. That's I amazing. I got so many people. Did Annie get a boob job? It's so funny. People are I nicer like, to me when I wear them, even though they know they're fake. <laughs> Jeff died. It's like I didn't even realize what a piece of shit you were to me before this. Oh my! <laughs> he was so, I'm opening doors. You've been Ooh. named. Really name Jeff name. Died. But wait, so you sue me? He seems charming. So he said that to you? Oh my god! Quasi good looking, I guess. Oh, you want to fuck Jeff Die? Is that cool? I remember. Dude, I told you, you this. Bang Jeff I just met him, dude. I told this. I told this he wasn't on here before. To me at all. What the fuck is that all? No, about? Yeah, get it together, Jeff. I introduced. What a homophobe, dude. This was like when he first moved here. And I introduced him to Ari Shafir on the patio of the comedy store. And 
were out Eleanor's front. Eleanor's ex-boyfriend. No. Is that true? No. It, went, it, went on, it Annie, went on a date. It was a date. It was a date. It wasn't a you date. You went on a date. Anyway, you definitely went on a date. I never went on a date with Ari. It's such a big deal. Her brothers send me DMs saying, don't <laughs> talk about my sister dating Ari Shafir. <laughs> And so now we have to bring it up because it, it happened. It didn't I happen. I went to lunch with Ari and I got bit by a dog. I had nothing to do with a date. We were working here. So it's a core memory now that day. And you yeah. were working there. So that's perfect. It's like an off, it's like an office romance. No, it isn't. You never went to, oh, let's go eat. Well, I told this on here before I went with a one Jimmy Schubert once. <laughs> Did he buy me Mel's merch and make me put it on? It was so crazy. I was, no. like, oh. I was like so new here, and he was like, bought me. He's like, I'm gonna buy you Mel's shirt. I'm like, I, I'm good. I <laughs> Wait a minute, Mel's died. <laughs> what a <laughs> move! <laughs> the Mel <laughs> shirt. <laughs> the pussy's basically mine. I've got the Mel shirt. He, he was like, if like you ever to come over and write, I was like, I, I like thought we were all going out to eat. It was fun. I was fun. Like I'm not talking shit, but but I am a but little. Do you think it was merch. a date? Like no. I think Mel's he merch, would dude. have loved to think that Ari he bought, bought me, like a... me nothing, and we split the check. Damn. Well, he's Jewish, naturally, or Dutch. Man. <laughs> so, but when I introduced him to Jeff Die, Ari looked right at him, and he was like, "He's a comic." I go, "Yeah." He goes, "He's too good looking to be a comic," and he just walked away and from him. Oh, <laughs> I was like, ah. oh, oh. But I was like, "Oh, oh. he's a good-looking guy, Jeff Die." It rhymes. He's a good looking guy and he used to have like his hair back then was like kind of like he had like the Ashton Kutcher like Yeah. Flip. Yeah, kind of. Yes, and he, yeah. he always wears a baseball Kutner. cap. I was uh I did his he had a TV show on MTV too that I did that was called Money from Strangers. Oh, okay. And he had like a van in New York and then two comics would be in a van and then they he would get a stranger and be like, "Do you want to do stuff for money?" And so then for a certain price we would tell them to do stuff in their ear. Ooh. They would go into stores. It was really fun. I would do that. Yeah, it was great. We should bring it back. What people do for money. What? We could put that on the do. YouTubes. Let's do it back. <laughs> Let's bring it back. Let's right. do it. You want to be the host of it? As long as I get to be Jeff Die. <laughs> That's part of my contract. <laughs> well, with your hair like this, I mean, you're close. I like this hair. Do you like the hair, Annie? Guys, Francisco Ramos was making fun of me the other day because of my Excuse hair. Excuse me? And I'm, I don't even know how to deal with life at this point you can't get made fun of by an esl that's what i said i go i go I'm, in my country <laughs> I, go, I was born to have whatever hair i want the sir. accent's a little thick for you to be making fun of me <laughs> i just thought if jeff richards were here i would have him bully francisco oh yeah yeah he oh. hated the impression that jeff, uh, jeff richard did of him but it does not sound like me <laughs> he gets so mad and then it would sound just like the just impression. Like, <laughs> Did it? Was it good? It was good. It was, it was just a Jeff little going, exaggerated. My name is Francisco Ramos, and my tongue is too big for my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they would just say basically that, and a couple other things. People would laugh, and Francisco would just be steaming. <laughs> it, look, it's funny, but it does not sound like me. <laughs> it doesn't. It feel. I think I get. The, I don't have a good sense of humor too. If I'm, if something isn't really right that I'm being made fun of for. I oh, want I it to be. Care. People make fun of me all the time. Yeah, but they're getting it correct. Okay. They're saying you're a dumb bitch. Damn. They get it. They get me. They, they get me. They know your brand. They fucking they're get me. They're pushing your brand. You're dumb. You're you idiot. stupid. Idiot. Type of broad you could say the truth to. No, I mean, if you this have to get up. This is a mirror. Yes. This is I'm a, afraid to look in this because I think that's, we... That's from Mitzi's office. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. And I, you know, what I like everything from Mitzi's office. Look in the mirror, Annie. Look in the mirror. I'm really, I'm actually You'll not. See I'm, I'm your future. Really not looking. If she at would it. look in the mirror and just do this, you know, the bang thing, like just fix her oh, like that. The mirror did great. She would always just run, <laughs> and I do it too. And I know I'm. Getting, you're being, cha you're channeling Mitzi. No, no, like Dice always says, you're gonna be in a mental institution, going like this. Because I always fix my bangs, and Mitzi used to well, do it Well, bangs too. are difficult. They are annoying. They're a fucking difficult thing, and but you're she brave. have like a a fucking like this, and then she just go, and you're like, what about the rest? All right, <laughs> she only, <laughs> fix, only the bangs. She only fix the one part. You look at the mirror at the right angle. You you don't even see. That you know, if more. you say a med two times in this, he gets <laughs> he gets to he shows up. Again. He'll, he'll show up. <laughs> Let me see it. You're really not looking at it at all. And he's really I'm afraid of it. Scared. But I like everything from Mitzi's office I mean, has not been dusted oh, or cleaned. Oh, I look terrible. It's like, are these her ashes? What's going on here? Yeah, yeah. This is too much red lipstick. 
It's just Mitzi trolling you. It's yeah, just whatever it's... she would say to you, she, you're oh. going to think about yourself. Oh, well, she would always say... Um, she knew you did comedy, right? No, I'm oh. kidding. Yes. I But I started late. Like, right, she, at that point... She, you know what she told me when she saw me? I had a showcase like three or four she times. Said, I, can I guess what she said? Please. Baby, your butt's so big I can see from the front. <laughs> Damn, that was a Mitzi Damn. short quote. A lot of people didn't realize that was a Mitzi quote. Damn, baby. <laughs> and, that, and that's how she said it. She used her <laughs> black scent, if you will. Yeah, this looking at that, my makeup looks like my kidnapper did it again. I'm not good at it. It's whatever. Now, it okay, when you imagine your kidnapper, is mm -hmm. he big? He's big. <laughs> no, he's yeah, usually awesome. small, but like. PJ? Strong. Is it PJ? Yeah. Kind of, but Mexican. You're the so cow. you're like surprised. You're like, <laughs> you're wow, I didn't know this guy could get me. You're like, I must be so skinny if this little guy can get me. <laughs> oh my God, he can pick me up. How cute. <laughs> Damn, you guys, you think about all the right things. You have to. This is the modern woman. It's how you feel little is when a little guy picks you up as oh a big person. Oh my God, we get climbed like, by a young man. Yes. Or an older short man. Yes. Ooh, they get smaller. When a Brad Williams just climbs on up you. What if he could just like spin me? He that could would be... though. Here's the thing with Brad Williams. He's thick. Yeah. He's a heavy, thick man. He's got a, he may come, a nice little bottom. He may come up to my my fupa, but he is he is strong like bull. He yeah. Could... What's the shortest dude you guys have actually been with? I know this is a. Like, oh, I grew up in South Philadelphia. Three, two. Yeah. Can you so. imagine? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can imagine. You went to the College of Santa Fe. It's possible. I know. Oh my God! It was just a Santa Fe. I wasn't even a little person. <laughs> I mean, I, the fact that the other person that went to our college is Mervis. Mervis? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. What a combination. Do, they know Do you guys Mervis have is? reunions? Has Mervis been on the show? No. No. That's so funny. We can't have reunions because the college doesn't exist anymore. No, I sometimes know, they have reunions, but it's they? like a weird sect of people will be like, but I went to the, the campus. Okay. Still it's, there? It's still there, but it's it went out of business. For the last time, I know you I love know, Santa Fe, ago. or you love. New I Mexico. do love Santa Fe. It's very weird. I don't. I can't. I, it, I think it's awesome too. I, I love it so much. That's yeah. great. I love going there. I like it way better than no offense, going back to Philly. Really? Yeah. But I never got like, I don't know. In Philly, I got like you know molested by like white guys, and <clears throat> you're like you prefer in New Mexico. A Mexican. They were, you know, it was like she did like the molesting. <laughs> she was the Heisenberg of the College of Santa Fe. <laughs> Listen, I, I was like, are you a things. freshman? Does Eat any, me of your, out. any of your family still live in Philly? My parents live in Winmore. Oh live right, of okay, Chicago. okay. But um, everyone's in Cherry Hill or oh nice, yeah, uh, welfare. I go to that mall yes. sometimes. Can you afford it? No, but I get Damn. lost going there. I fucking hate it. But I will tell you this. I went to the <laughs> campus. Our college went out of business. The first time it went out of business, it was the College of Santa Fe went out of business. That was in 2008. Okay. Then it came back to life as the Santa Fe Institute of Design or something. And then that went out of business. And then the barracks were all of the... Christian Brothers stayed because it was a Christian Brothers school. Haunted. That burned down. It was haunted, Eleanor. Okay. We it was just... ha more haunted than this. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They brought back a bunch of, uh, you know, the stubby people from the wars mm -hmm. and tossed them in the beds, well, their, you know, stubs and whatnot. I... And the truth is our stubby, our, our, <laughs> where our cafeteria was the morgue. That was, yeah. Really? Yes. They yeah. served us. Not bad corn really. dogs, though. <laughs> okay. Considering. Rick? It was Cisco. It was a Cisco. That's Would disgusting. With real morgue? And you're like, oh, I want the I corn mean, it dogs? A, it was a morgue after WW1 and 2. So some oh, time I passed. see. So it, I didn't know which W. It, I believe it was, was both. The second, one? Uh, the second one, that one obviously had more meaning. Well, let me tell Who you, it is World ones? War Three there right now. It is. <laughs> it's a new morgue. There's just burned buildings. Yeah. There's... Like some buildings are still there, and then they had these sculptures. Remember, they had those sculptures. There's a sculpture there, but they're just tipped over, and there's just weeds growing up the all of them. And then the art department was actually beautiful. It was like this really okay. beautiful cool building, building yeah. and it's like still a cool building, but it's not. No one's taking care kept of it. up at yeah. all. And then there's just two bike cops rolling around, and I stopped them, and I was like, "What's going on on this campus?" And they're like, "Oh, the apartments they now have homeless people staying in them." And I was like, <gasps> "I actually want credit for being the first one that brought homeless men into those." Not bad. And they you did, did not lay. Cool. They did not. They went. <laughs> homeless oh. Julian gave me BV, but it was great. It was a fun time. <laughs> homeless Julian, that was his name. Yeah, That's he had a bad. house, but he didn't. You know. Yeah. Really? He could have not had one, but he did. But he looked like he didn't. 
I don't want to brag. I don't want to brag. There was a, I like a, it. There's um, a lot of select people on that campus. When mean? I think back, I just go, man, so many choices for future life partner. And definitely yeah, of people course. that you go, how the fuck did these people get into college? Well, my boyfriend from freshman year of college came to, I did shows at the Quisadas Casino, which is in Bernalillo. And um, Quisadas Comedy Club, it was at the Santa Ana Star Casino. I did shows there. My All these people from college came. And when was this? This was like two months ago. Oh, wow. Okay. My ex boyfriend from college, full BO, just smells like shit. All the women have full beards. It's like, it really is like. The enchantment is It real. really is wild. You're like, wow. Dude, it's like Colorado if it got fucked up and forgot wow. where it lived. But Colorado's like hot people. And it's not that like New Mexico, it's, and I'm not even saying under their facial hair they're ugly. It's like, it literally is just like. I think that Santa Fe is one of the only pe places on earth where people are not in the gaze of the other gender. So it's like, like men are a little gayer in Santa Fe. They're a little more like artsy and yeah. yeah they're like you're like the earthy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then like they're wearing like open toed shoes. And then I know I'm and not. They got fringe. Like, I have trouble with that. Yeah. Shit. And you're like, oh, they kind of dress like Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber when he thinks he yeah. looks great in Aspen. Yeah. <laughs> And then the the women are just they don't wax. It's like they're just. They, it's I just like, see the top hat and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not the orange tuxedo. <laughs> okay, this is okay. I thought you meant the, the dress steps. up. No. Okay, okay. Could okay. be, could be, but it's an interesting place. But it's yeah. fun. I like going there. I want to like rent a house and write there. I feel inspired when I go there. But I don't want to talk Oops. to any of the people that I know there. I oh. mean, all I'll say is that Val Kilmer mm -hmm. really liked living there. And he liked living there so much that he gave it his throat. Yeah, he just tossed it in there. And uh, wow. Gene Hackman, who is unrecognizable at 97 yeah. or whatever. No, they keep you know. saying he's dead, but he's walking Listen, around, but I he's dead. But, he's, but that doesn't he's, quite look like a picture. There's no way that we have to believe that's Gene Hackman. That's they all have I'm to give I us love some. Gene Hackman. I need a DNA test. To yeah, get Maury exactly. Povich out there, swab him <laughs> while he's stumbling down the sidewalk. Yeah, I'm there with you. Yo, Is hey, there saliva yo, left in that body? Royal yeah, no. Tenenbaum, no, get no. over here. Royal Tenenbaum, but the to best. Get, uh, maybe, and maybe it's because we didn't see him in the past 15 years or something. But it's like, could we have had like a little bit of like a Maybe give us a, a build up of events. Something. This is like help us out. Uh, at least BuzzFeed, give us a Gene Hackman seventeen times we couldn't believe he's still alive. <laughs> and then you drop all the pictures. How do you I mean, not work for them? Twenty six <laughs> reasons why I shouldn't pull this trigger. <laughs> should is funnier. <laughs> I would be the one giving notes. I'd be like, actually should's funnier. <laughs> um yeah, Gene Hackman's on what are the other celebs? I guess Julia Roberts has a ranch or sure. something. Oh, in this in this New Mexico, yeah. in the Santa Fe, the greater Santa Fe area. I drove through it when I drove through the country. I drove across country, and then I went through. You went through Santa Fe or Albuquerque? They're different looking. Yeah. Oh, a lot different. I just went through New Mexico. I don't remember exactly what well, part. I have to look. I'm doing. I'm doing like all these interviews when I'm going out there, like, and they're asking me questions. Like, it's all it's closer to Albuquerque than it is to Santa Fe. So they're like Albuquerque newspapers, and they're going like. So do you like when you were in San Francisco? You come to Albuquerque a lot. I'm like, what, we, yeah, I like went to, to the, the airport. Yeah. Yeah. I went, like I went, I went on one hot balloon ride once, one hot air balloon ride. Yeah. And, but the wind just took me over the Cottonwood Mall. It was like so ugly. Was the Cottonwood Mall was in Albuquerque? Yeah, I think so. There was one really nice. Mall. Are they over very? The they're, mall. So they're right next to each other. They're an it's hour like an drive. hour. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's okay. just like just desert between the two yeah. of them. Yeah. I almost ran over a road runner once. That's the type a of real life road an runner? actual road And then runner. he drove into this wall that was painted like the rest <laughs> of the world. It was so weird. <laughs> and then Mervis was there, who yeah. honestly That's does so look weird. Like Who was, was like, Rick! It. Yeah. I, the weird thing is I do not remember from college. Uh, is yeah. that so Did he go the same time? How could you I guess forget he did, him? But he's, I, I was gone by the time they both, these whippersnappers got there. I was already <laughs> dropped out and moving on to another college, getting ready got to it, drop got out it, of. Got it. KU? You went back to yeah, KU? Yeah. Nice. Headed back to the, the mighty caw and then <laughs> realized how incredible the film department at the University of Kansas was and... And yeah. look at you now, camera right? all around you. Dude, they wouldn't even, I didn't even get this to touch a camera. This is a beautiful setup, That's really. How kind of a, it, was, it was more film theory. They were like, hey, I don't know. Watch if movies. Yeah, I don't know if you're interested in watching <laughs> Citizen Kane to talk about shadowing. But Boy, they love that we've one, We've got don't four they? weeks ahead of this. It's so, so funny. Shadowing? 
Todd, my fiance Todd was yeah. He was a college in college. He lady studied Todd. film. He was always like, yes, my lady Todd, my, my wife. Lady. He will be taking Where'd my last go? name. Well, uh, good. He went Where'd to Temple. He, he was, did. And he's right. always like, I always tell people you should like major in film. It's so easy. It's so fun. I'm like, you didn't finish. And then you still have debt. <laughs> yeah. And all you did was watch movies, which is what you're doing now. It's a terrible plan. But he's an editor. No, he, listen. Uh, he's a great editor. Personality is going to get you so far, guys. That's the, just work all on right. your if you're gonna all go, right. If you're going to go to film school, you should really just... Move to LA and start working some shitty job. Yeah, and, and some of the credits that Todd has uh, are the uh, the Argus show. What is it? What was this oh, show called? Oh, sure. The Welcome Argus. back to Argus Hamilton tonight. We got <laughs> Biff Argus Maynard Hamilton. on tonight. <laughs> How did you get Biff? That was a great show. That was a great show. Dude, but we watched uh, Argus Crush one night. Um, oh, and smashes. They got him. They got oh, him a. Rushes. They got him a sponsorship. Oh, on Argus yeah, Hamilton yeah. tonight. But then they write. They weren't, they, and, weren't, weren't Brett and uh, Todd writing like crazy yes, ads? And when yes. I say when I say they got him a, a sponsorship, what I mean is the they manager, yeah, got our alcohol, the guy who deliver, the distributor yeah. to give us a thousand dollars, give a thousand dollars to the show <laughs> because we buy so much alcohol from right, right. and Argus. Was so fast to abandon his fucking life of AA. Dude, not only that, but he's so good. He said the wrong liquor on top a couple of times. on top of providing what was basically date rape punch. Right, right, right. I'm gonna give you a little recipe I learned at the University <laughs> of Oklahoma, and everyone looked around like, "Wait, that's not in the script." <laughs> You put uh, one liter of <laughs> vodka, one liter. I mean, it poured. He basically Nyquil. poured four gallons of liquor. He goes, then you put one of them big Kool Aid packets with the sugar. You <laughs> mix it in. <laughs> you mix it all together. You put it in a baby bottle because you're getting them young. <laughs> <laughs> you get, he goes anyway. You give it to a lady, and you're gonna have yourself a great night. And I remember that like, one. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't think we can use that. <laughs> God, it was so Why funny. Why not? And the live studio liquor. audience. Oh my God, it was so funny. It was the Laney live studio audience of like four people. It was Laney and it Jerry. Was so good. The old manager's parents. And then uh, it'd be like two other people. I'm like, why? Why do they have a live audience? I love only... the live audience. Was my favorite part. Hearing I Laney have... go, yay! <laughs> I have a favorite memory of that. An okay. Argus memory over the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd come with his note cards because we were doing comedy out of the yeah. The, the, window. the window, belly room. Oh, I mean, not the belly room, out of the OR. Yeah, yeah. Um, he'd have cue cards outside. He, he always had someone holding cue. He always had someone doing something for him, which is I like that about Argus. And I, I'm saying he always did, but he's so with us. Um, there is right now someone with paper cuts on their hands from holding. Well, his. that's my assistant. We got to send these out to the presses before the newspapers send out their uh, morning edition. He does editions. have an assistant. I mean, okay, so he, one time he comes, he's, they're not doing the window, so he's got his cards in one arm, and he goes, oh, we're not doing it tonight, okay, <laughs> and he's all disappointed, you know, and his face would look sad if it wasn't so tight, and, right. um, and then he's got, like, a, a Trader Joe's bag, and I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna want to know what he's saying. You gotta see saying. what's in there, is that a head? He goes, he goes, is Emily here? <laughs> and I go, like... I'm like leaning like as far in as I can. He's talking to the security guard up front and they go, uh, I think so. And he goes, I got her a bag of steaks. <laughs> he just had a bag built of uncooked steaks. What? What? <laughs> Legendary fucking player move, dude. <laughs> player move. From Trader Joe's. Dude. Trader Joe's, dude. You know how many chicks I bought steaks it for? Might have been round. Zero. <laughs> Big fucking zero. I brought her. You're some not gonna steaks. take her out to dinner. No one is ever. This is you get to eat this shit out. Well, he doesn't drink anymore. Cook he can't it give up. Them, he gets them drunk off beef now. And if you could cook it up. You and eat it yourself, and you can cook it for me next time. <laughs> Good to be here, what everybody. What if it was like he wanted her to cook it in the back? That would be amazing. On like, I brought her some steaks I have it prepared. I'm going to go for a jog. I'll be over sweating, <laughs> ready to eat. So funny. Argus is what the one of the best character. characters now in he, this club. Now, Still, it, now he crushes them. Rich, what did he say? I don't know say? if you heard it, but I, uh, I'm shaking rich, the building. Just call you rich. Yeah, always. <laughs> There's there's two guys out here shaking the building and they're both standing right here. Well, he'll bring 
Amen, Argus. Amen, dude. He'll I've bring... been blowing the roof off this place in 79. All right, Argus. I love 48 it. 48 years of <laughs> crushing and blowjob. <laughs> but tonight I had my first drink. I can't wait. We got to get him hammered. We gotta you think we're going to have him go off the wagon? We got to do it. Has he ever relapsed? Is he a relapse? Yeah. Uh, 90. Fuck. It was like n- mid 90s. I don't know if you were here yet. I wasn't here yet. But He's Rick used so to do How drunk Argus. Yeah. He used to do drunk Argus. And we were like, why? He's sober. You know, he had one like little funnier. relapse and, it, you know, jumped right back into. But like it was terrible. Like it was in, I think it was the early 90s. And everybody was like, how did how does he know? They used to think Rick you was some guess. kind of wizard. Like, how does he know that he can relapse? But your drunk oh, wow. Argus. It was made, the impression was just funnier if it was drunk because I could get away with saying whatever I wanted. Yeah. Um, but it was so good. He made Robin Williams relapse. Oh, that's, well, <laughs> I, cool. I wouldn't say I that's made awesome. him realize. I'm sorry. I don't want to brag, but we went to the same college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm for, not giving you full credit, but you know what I'm saying. For a good year, almost two years, people would just bring me up and be like, hey, this guy put Robin Williams in rehab. And I'd kind of be like, oh, <laughs> I don't like him. Well, as long as you don't give him Parkinson's, I think. <laughs> well, right? I think, I don't know if that was me necessarily, but I'm sure it was the ghosts inside the comedy store. Yeah. Were you the one that got him into wearing those like biker hats? I remember when I met him, he was like in a biker hat phase, like a bicycle hat phase. Where you're like, oh, that was your Do you know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. maybe he already was having some men. It was like very, it was like, are what you I- in Jack still? Are you in the movie Jack still? It was what like I- a child's hat. <laughs> I, what I liked about him was, one, we were getting drunk, and I didn't know he wasn't supposed to be drinking. Right. But I, I liked that. I'm like, what? Why are you in L.A.? And he was like, oh, I made this movie RV. And I'm like, oh, is it good? And he was like, no, don't see it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Don't you think all actors should say that about all their movies, though? I would hope. Isn't it so much cuter to be like, it sucks? I mean, I, I ended up saying it. Like, he was right. It's a check. Yeah. Yeah. They're just doing it for I think a check. It had to be. Yeah. I remember that. I didn't watch it, but I remember the I saw it on commercial. TV eventually. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, okay. It had to be like, uh, why not make $25 million? Right. Yeah. And it's like, you've made, you've already made good movies. It's like, yeah. you don't have to ever, you just keep doing this it. This is post Oscar. So. It's like De Niro. De Niro does all these fucking, he's amazing. And then he does all these creepy check movies yeah. to pay for the new baby. You know? The new baby. No one does it better than Nick Cage, though. That guy makes uh. nothing but A plus <laughs> films. I did like that movie where he was made the... fun of himself. Yeah, that movie which, was hilarious. Yeah, which one? No, the one where he made fun of himself, and then also the one where he's canceled. Did you see that one? Oh, oh my god, this is one. great. Oh, the really Dreamer. Good. That was or whatever. So awesome. That was fucking great. I watched it in a hotel room. Was I was like, so this is good. freaking me the fuck out, but I like it. It always sounds creepier when you say I watched it in a hotel room. Yes, it is. Like I know. It really good. is. Nothing good's happening no. in a hotel room. You should only watch forensic files in a hotel room. And I, I know it's wild, and that. it's just always the same one. You've always seen the forensic yep. files. I've, I'm not watching that in there because I'm already wiping things and looking. You need to know because what if you hear a knock on the door next door? I say. Come on in. I'm lonely. Wow. Let's see what's going on. Murder me. What do you got, Murder buddy? Murder this fucking big fat ass. See if you can get that axe through my heart. <laughs> see where you can. <laughs> hey, I'm looking reverse through the people. But before you I do that, that, put it in here because nice. I'm lonely. <laughs> okay. She's lonely. <laughs> yeah, that, I can't some watch that murder vending anymore. Machine love making. I'm done with murder. Why? Over it to, I'm over murder. What are you into now? Kidnappings? I'm into life. Ooh. <sighs> Living. I, I, I want to see people live. <laughs> you imagine people <laughs> run, like running a marathon. You're like, oh my God, they did it. <sighs> I have been watching, in my algorithm is just dogs that are like dirty that they find on the street and then they groom them and they're happy again. Oh, yeah, fun. no, I love those. that. I've seen my algorithm is still exclusively videos of people acting like dickholes and then someone beating the fuck out of them. Okay. Ooh, I, like I, don't, that. I don't know which video I clicked on, but once it started, I'm like, oh no, this is what I like. It's just <laughs> people, it, it's almost exclusively people fucking around and finding out. It's, yeah. uh, it's a pretty entertaining. Well, you get to see the full. I think that's what's good about murder shows to begin with is there's yeah. a storyline and there's yeah. they have different suspects. And then usually by the end of the episode, you have. So, you're watching you're getting like a whole full story you're seeing them act like assholes learn yeah. their lesson and get it, a lot of a lot of times it's a white guy who starts dropping end bombs okay and, and then i do like those videos and then mm-hmm. those are always just fun. Like when they end when they just say the <laughs> not when they get beat up <laughs> it's, <horrible. laughs> it's racist it's i i find it to be the 
uh, highest frequency of videos of women beating men's asses. Oh, are those, those are good. It's those good, are good. Solid. Women can fight. Here's the thing: women can fight. There's no, like I know. A, and people don't think that they that we can, and that's the fun part. Yeah, that's I, the fun part. I, I enjoy a good uh, white racist guy saying the wrong shit, and then three black women kicking the shit Ooh, out of them. Ooh, that's all a good. Together. That's a good one. One of them yelling at the other two to calm down, and then getting involved also. Like, what did he say? And Just then, like realizing, like, oh, they're not calming down. <laughs> I guess, I guess we're kicking Better his ass. Beat him than just, yeah. If I like, you can't beat him, join him. You don't want to be the friend that didn't join him. Stupid, in. yeah. Oh, that just stands there. Yeah. That's oh, really yeah, the stands there. Maybe, but if you're filming, you could be the film. That's a good I way can... to be the person that stands there and doesn't get involved if yeah. you film. But you have to be talking shit, and you got to see you kick someone. Yeah, there has to I be... don't like watching people. Like I've seen a lot, like uh, adults hitting kids, like weird shit. On there was a just, lady yeah. on a bus that's all over Twitter today. Is she just punching oh, this I, kid? So and I'm bad. like, and what it's not the... her kid. No, I don't. Yeah, and I'm like, what the kid do? I... But. At the same time, I'm like, I don't, it was sneaky. The way she was doing it yeah. was like that. And I was oh, like, yeah. like, I couldn't tell if the kid was handicapped or something. Oh, and then I get what? so I, I do know fucking angry about. and I'm like, who is this bitch? I want to fucking find I did her. See this. So I can't watch him because I really get emotionally involved. Yeah, she was beating an autistic kid. Was Okay, see, I knew there was something. speak. <gasps> but she was like, so, like. Elbowing was, him in the face and stuff. And maybe she's like, maybe he'll talk. She was like, maybe I can get him to talk. <laughs> she, you think it was tough love? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting theory. Did he? Uh, you know does what? he speak at all? Like I've only been beat no. up by autistic kids myself. Okay. I used to work at a Easter Seals, and we had this one. He would just beat the shit out of us, dude. I would come up. Oh, I would yeah, have yeah, like yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. C cup by there. I'd just be like punching you in the tent. You're like, oh my god. Old I know, school. and they do hit, and they do get. Uh, I, I mean, my baby. sister works. Well, they're with, so confused. They yeah, know, they're not confused, but they're like they're they don't frustrated. understand. They're frustrated. Yeah. 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 they can't express themselves. They don't know how to so. communicate. That's what's wrong with well, me. You just That's take why that I would you put your tit in front. You're like, we'll get some biggies. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you hope for the, the jerky boys yeah. swollen style titty. I miss calling. Do you guys remember the jerky boys hotline? Mm -hmm. Of course. That was so I fun. I never called it. But oh my I... God. We used to call it at the, the Glenside pool. Really? Uh -huh. was I so just fun. loved listening to the, their the calls. CDs. Oh. It was hooked They're on ridiculous. phonics. Yep. You could call hooked on phonics. 1-800 hooked on phonics. Okay. Talk to. There were just things you could call that were free. <laughs> That you would call and the jerky I boys. Think was I knew free. that. The, hotline. the movie was it so do. bad. It, but uh, there's a jerky boys movie. Yeah, I don't remember that. I just remember the degenerate kids. I was kids so excited to like the CD. Watch it because I, I we listened to the CD right, tape. Yeah. All we were like, yeah. this is fucking hilarious. These guys are great. I'll bring all my shoes. Like it was like the dumbest thing. We found the CD yeah. at a uh, so good at a truck stop in like 1997, mm -hmm. and it was called Crazy Willie's Phone Pranks. Mm -hmm. And so you saw it, and it was literally just like a black guy with like a r giant smile on the front, and that's Crazy <laughs> Willie. And this dude crushed it there was he basically would just call restaurants and talk about animals okay that he was gonna eat but it always just came back to whether or not they could cook him hush puppies for <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is so he just caught his neighbor's cat this is a bad cat <laughs> this is a case if he goes missing no one's gonna be mad <laughs> the guy's like you shouldn't do any of the cat yeah. can you make a cat taste good though what spices <laughs> yeah what do you use not it? for me but if I was cooking a cat tonight, right. like trying to get advice, yeah, the guy's like, I mean, any meat's gonna taste good, you, you know. You put oh, cumin. I'm throw do you up. do prank? Did you do prank calls when you were younger? I mean, we pranked other kids, right. and stuff. But what about you? No. We, we, we you know, couldn't we, use the call. phone like that. <laughs> have Different the money. <laughs> You'd be getting hit like an autistic kid. <laughs> there was a lot of. Uh, I, I remember sitting in on. It was a lot of this, Annie. For me, yeah. it's too much to prank. This was a lot. This is a <laughs> lot. And then you get it wrong. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. I just to like, oh, yeah. It's yeah. so annoying. <laughs> Say that. <there. laughs> Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> hey, you say it is. Well, hey. no, uh, you got those really long phone cords. <laughs> You're like, how long can this phone cord be? I mean, we did have that touch, but I, just, we just didn't play I do on remember the phone. My when mother my would family, kill us. When they got the cordless. Ooh, the freedom good. of taking Ooh, the phone into my room. Hide in the one. corner and I was yeah. like... This. I'd go straight to my room with it and Ooh. then talk to whatever 
loser Girl. was calling me. Oh. And then you would like forget to put it back. I needed to and then, and then we died. Yeah, so yeah. mad at you. You're like, oh, I fucked the whole family over. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Feels we good, were, though. I don't want to brag, but we did get a kid's line at one point. Damn. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, we got a kid's line. I think our parents were so you guys are doing pretty good. Far. I don't want to say we're the richest people in the world. That's we incredible. did have a kid's line. There was a lot of freedom with it. I remember. Of, my parents are probably still paying for it, by the way. There was a, um, there was like a, th- a line <laughs> you could charges. call. And pay it off. It wasn't, it was a party line. That's the word. I remember this. Mm. And. I didn't do it, but my friend Ivy did it. You met, Ivy, you met my friend Ivy. Bad, bad girl, girl Ivy. Yeah. Guess she was calling this party line, just talking to random Not whatever. Not that it was a scam. Thousands of dollars. Oh, so expensive. My mother would have chopped our how heads was, off. How was the party? Though? I know. I never got to call one. So what, do you remember? Did she I didn't do you? it. No, she just, she, I just remember her getting in so much trouble. Because like, what do they do? It it's became an sex, addiction. Right? I got a, I, 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 I'm thinking most of the time it's probably loser dudes calling and chicks yeah. being like, I wish you were at this party. Oh my God, it's so fun here. But yeah, what are you guys There's this guy, Argus, he gave me this punch. <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, ow, oh, ow. Oh. It's uh, four gallons of Everclear. <laughs> <laughs> Mix in a Crystal Act because you don't want them gaining sugar weight. <laughs> wait a minute. Get fat on him. Hold on a second. That's... Argus, this is... You're going to fat shame us it's as wrong. you rape That's, us? Come on, it's Argus. It's on a lot of levels. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. You're gonna need a lime. The party put in her mouth. Yeah, just I don't remember. And they'd be like, it'd be like a girl, and like I remember there was, they showed an ad from uh, the chick that was in Lost, Evangeline something. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what her name was, but Lily or something. Lily Evangeline, yeah. yeah. And she was on like one of those like ads when she was younger. Oh, She's like, shit. like twirling the cord, like mm-hmm, call me. But that's like the sex. Things. That's not the same as the party still line, did, like, is party, it? I think oh. party line was like you that's know, what I mean, over like, the pants. Right. And that's Third, why second base. A, a young lady calls and they're like, what are we supposed to do? I don't even know how to scam her. Yeah, like, yeah. How big are your tits, little girl? <laughs> and Ivy would have been like, what'd you say? Like She would have been like, what's your address? I'll fucking come over there. What's going come on over. at this party right now? <laughs> yeah. give, me a, give me a description of the scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just have like a cassette tape that makes it sound like there's party happening <laughs> behind them. <laughs> Just playing the party scene from yeah, uh, well, we an Eddie call, Murphy movie or like the background of that Weezer song. That's always anyway. I don't know. You guys it's know the sweater song. The sweater song, yeah. yeah. So we used to call. So I could get the guys to call me. Like I would page my boyfriends or whatever mm-hmm. the guys that I'd met friends? at the Roosevelt Mall. Got it. And usually gang members. I don't want to brag. They usually got arrested for homicide. <laughs> While I was dating them, um, Saw but they would. Annie. You would, Roosevelt Mall. I know. I don't want to brag. That's it was a big Roosevelt brag. Mall. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we go to the Chinese buffet to meet them. Sometimes Ooh. we go to Deb. Um, Deb. Wet Seal. <laughs> but so. Is that a penis reference? <laughs> you should Okay. They With called the me a wet seal when I was done. <laughs> <laughs> but so they call. So I would so page hot. them, and it would. I would page them to call my home phone, but I would call the um, movie phone so that it would be call oh, waiting. Okay. I remember movie phone So that phone it wouldn't too. ring in the house. So you'd just be listening to the movies and then you'd hear like beep and you click over. That way your parents don't hear the right, they don't wake. Call. They don't uh, hear the grown up calling their child, it. daughter. So yeah. So. The grown up call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the it was a gro- it was an older. Well, I would always like lie. Like year, in their they, I would lie or you're twenty, older and they would lie. You're younger, you know, yeah. and then you're like, see, this is bad. Yeah, yeah. So you're like sixteen, seventeen, and they're like twenty. I'm like fourteen, saying I'm fifteen, and they're like probably twenty, saying they're eighteen or whatever. Got it. Okay, that's yeah. hot. Oh, I yeah. know. Sorry, I get. I always 18, liked older what, guys. You mean years? What are we talking about here? What do you? What I do have you a hard think? time believing that guys would date younger chicks, especially Whoa. when we've been at the comedy store for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's that's rare. something I haven't seen before. You like an older? I you like an I older think, gal? I I don't want to speak for all guys. Okay, but guys like a thinker. They like a older okay. girl with a maturity. Okay. Someone they can talk to. I things like they this. can relate to. Yep. And someone who will challenge them intellectually. Mm-hmm. And talk about their day. Yeah. Sure. Guys like to talk about their day. Have, have a woman talk about their day. I have interesting observations yeah. about the things they Let did Let me know today. what's going on. Eavesdrop on some conversations when you're getting Certainly. your oil changed. Mm. And one thing that guys hate 
especially guys in the world of comedy, Young okay, tits. is um, women who are sexually interested in having sex. Oh, they're not into that. They like more talking. And okay, there's cuddling. <laughs> sure, that makes sense. I do miss the shiny tits era. <laughs> we lost that when when our what's shiny when we tits? Lost, do you remember the girls that would come and they were? We knew which. We knew which comedian they were there to see. They'd quite they'd have like greased up titties. Oh yeah. yeah. They'd be sitting up front and I go, even with those greased up titties, you're a little old. <laughs> Some uggos we, would be we sitting there. The like, When's he on? And you're like, it's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, yeah, we see your crapes. You're where I got Ian yeah, number yeah. seven on the list tonight. Toots. <laughs> Listen, he's got one over there and one over there. Okay. And one coming to the late show. There was always you could always tell who was here to see who. Oh, yeah. There was a time when you could, like, When you could see your face in their young, yeah, if yeah, yeah. Tits. On the opposite side, if you saw a woman with a hunch and an eye patch, yep, she we was knew. there for me. That's right. <laughs> that I would say mine. that. I go, that's Ingram's girl. That's She's here looking she's, for are sure. Are you here to see someone? She goes, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then we're like, oh, no, definitely Rick. Rick. Chick, Send yeah. her to the main room. Yeah. <laughs> I've Don Barris escort her to the green room. <laughs> Have him explain the rules of finger blasting before <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't get louder. She just grunts. <laughs> she just gets older and yeah. older and more She gets more in scoliosis. -y. Oh boy, but it's fun fingering those. You sometimes you can finger them wow. upright. It's, it's a vertical. You can kind of go, whoop. You can kind of get them up. Ooh. It's a puppet. It's finger more of a puppet trail. Yeah, yeah. You can straighten their back. <laughs> so if you get more than one. You know, you go three fingers. A lot of people don't realize how the hunch. nerves are connected. Right. But that seems like it's And you go, Argus, you go, Argus, come bring us oh, a little good. of that fucking drink. <laughs> well. and shove it up there to make it a little wetter. <laughs> get, me the, get me the punch bowl and uh, a sharp end of a, a broom handle. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Kip Adana would remember this. <laughs> A young Greg Eagles was there. Jesus, Rick. Todd Bridges. <laughs> it was Marky Post's birthday party, <laughs> 19 and 86. We're doing slip and slides. I look over. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Kathleen Turner has her tits out. <laughs> I look over, and John Larroquette says to me, Well, that's Thursday in Van Nuys. And <laughs> We wrote a whole script based on that concept, but it ended up getting lost in the basement. That makes sense. <laughs> it's still Argus, you office. have the best stories. That's insane. What a life you lived. 19 and 83. <laughs> Myself, a young Tim Thomerson on the rise oh, to Timmy, the top. Oh, Timmy, Tim. Uh, Timmy, Tom. Tim was going quickly to the top, and yeah. we all were riding those coattails. Mm-hmm. And I remember looking, a uh, young Reginald Val Johnson <laughs> had just taken on the role of his first uh, police officer on television. Makes sense. So we're killing hookers. Right. Literally murdering prostitutes, <laughs> women okay. of the night. <laughs> but The Lord's work. As Jesus Christ himself once said, right. it ain't a crime if their families don't know. <laughs> Good to be here. <laughs> Welcome back to the Argus Hamilton tonight. <laughs> that was the best show. It really was the number one show. Yeah, I, I uh, in the building or in the world? No, no, no. Like compared to this show, was the number one show. I, I was, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was on an episode with Bruce Baby Man Bomb that <laughs> dozens of people saw on yeah. YouTube. Diaper or no diaper? This guy didn't even have the courage to do the baby man act. Oh, man. And that's what the people wanted. Yeah. Greg Hilbers is in the house. <laughs> Shut up. He Everybody's really going to be Googling. Greg Hilbers was literally, said, he was one of the eight people. <laughs> I believe it. And the whole time I just sat there being like, I, that's the guy from the headshot in the hallway. I can't believe he's real. He's <laughs> I here. I can't believe he's real. <laughs> he's here. <laughs> it is funny when they come to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember somebody was making fun of, uh, like the way people are posing in the pictures and I'm like oh my god that, that's Kim Tavares like she's still around she's still like awesome yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but she's like it's the 90s so yeah, she's so got the ever, clunky heel yes. and she's just like this like and they were to, all making fun of like all the different like poses yeah. Hats or I, yeah, yeah I'd like to redo 
four at least four of the headshots. Okay, and I like mine this. in next to it. Oh, I like that, but with so the like, same look. Yeah, I do. I do the Sinbad's exact headshot, where he's like, <laughs> perfect. And then pants put mine right seen. next to it in the hammer pants. <laughs> um, yeah, just find like four of the good ones. The one with the horse's the one, ass yeah, in it. I can't think of his name. Uh, James Lee Reeves. Reeves. Yeah. James uh, Lee Reeves. Oh, Reeves and a horse. That's yeah. Yeah, that one. Premonition right there. Weird. Weird. That's a strange Reeves. ghost connection. Get it? Mm -hmm. He's like got a horse. Horse's ass, and he's like next to that because he's a horse's oh anyway. It's a, we got I it. love that. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. He went out there. We he went need for it. that back. We yeah, put People, some effort into it. Put a little character in your headshot. Just a regular headshot. Dude, Kevin Christie's headshot's amazing. He's got his wall. He's opening his wallet like he has to. He's getting ready to pay someone. Oh really? And then yeah. he always plays that. Yep. <laughs> Bop, and does wow. he not Nails always it. play that in every commercial you've ever yep. seen? I, a dad, dad right giving now, a kid giving 20 bucks? Yeah. I don't watch commercials, but I, I believe did you. A, uh, You're like, Lou, and I, I see can't. Kevin Christie, I fast forward. I Fuck say, this. no, no, no. I walked into a commercial you, audition, and I looked at the script, and there was a picture of Kevin Christie. <laughs> that is what they wanted, and I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. So I took a picture of it, and I sent it to Kevin Christie. Yeah. Two minutes later, Kevin Christie walks into the audition. I'm like, fuck. And takes your and then job. They didn't even book him. Oh. They ended up booking some fucking other asshole. Now, this sounds like a story it I looked once like heard Jeremy from Dingle. a guy named, his name was Chris. And he once was in the green room and he was saying to me he had gotten a role in a very popular Netflix show about a stalker. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he said, he's, I said, oh, you're going to be on that show. This is what this guy Chris said? His name, yeah. Let's just say his name is Chris. Okay. Does um, life rip for him? It, okay. Life used to rip. Is he it Irish? It still kind of rips. Uh, I'm just I think asking it still questions. Kinda rips. All right. Yeah. Now, so he's saying he got a role in this thing, and he and I go, oh, I watched that show, and he goes, I go, what's your part? And he goes, it's so crazy. It's like it's just exactly me, and they made me audition for, it, but it's like obviously I'm the guy that's gonna play this role. It's exactly me, and then when it came out, we went, oh fuck, that's exactly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's Crushed exactly you. His name was that Smish, is... actually, Smish. <laughs> that is crazy. Is that crazy? I didn't know he said that. Yeah. And then he because... couldn't believe he had to audition for it. Same thing with me in the TV show Dexter. <clears throat> right. Only. They ended up going with a better looking guy. Which well, is... I guess Jamie Kennedy went out for the role. Oh. Can you right. imagine what a different world wow. it would be for Smish if yeah. Jamie Kennedy had gotten that role? Yeah. But I wouldn't. Yeah, that's weird. That's two completely different types. I mean, also, Jamie's a little older, right? And, and Am I not? Who we're, knows we're talking at this fucking a, point? We're talking about a guy who's not even a gentleman. I guarantee he's not even dropping off steaks at these girls' parents' Which houses. one? Yeah, these people don't. A bag of Neither raw one of them. There's a T-bone in there. Well, <laughs> to have a bag of steaks to deliver to someone is the funniest thing. I'm literally I crying know, I from that. I need to know what's happening. See, I got to feed her. <laughs> you gotta feed. This her. is one you gotta feed. This one you gotta throw steaks at. Uh, someone once filmed a video. This guy Kurt Thrutchley filmed a video. Oh, uh, the great Kurt! And, and he had this guy Bushman, who was a paid regular here, Lahai La Bambula, uh, giving a, a video which he called the blowjob chicken, <laughs> and it was just him making this chicken dish and okay. then and being like, "Now you take this to the woman, you give her the chicken." It fills her belly and she wants to give you a blowjob. It's that easy. Oh, that's what we love. A, a full stomach when we when we stick <laughs> your dick in our yeah, throats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Oh, I love, please I give I love us to a throw chicken. something up on you. I want to make sure. Uh, yes, I so need that funny. cock to get some of the feathers out. So then the, the video shows him giving this lady Oh, my God. Chicken, La High, the and then greatest later, The video of all ends time. with him calling the lady and being like, why aren't you answering your phone? <laughs> I put the chicken in your belly. <laughs> No one need the blowjob. Yeah, they need Argus to come in and give this punch. Well, here's the thing. It's got to be a chicken pot pie. <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Swanson's Pot Pies. You think we can get a sponsor from Swans? Do you think we can get a pot pie? I don't even care yeah, about we'll Swanson. Work on it. Okay, thank get, you. Get us any pot pie. All right. Yeah. Well, Except it, for Marie Callender's. Wait, wasn't there something else? <laughs> wasn't there something else Lahai would do? Was it just... 
Inside, it, outside, you never turn down a blowjob. Yes, but there wasn't there, like, 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 let me give you some advice. You'd be like, some advice? About how to get a blowjob. And it would just, his Unbelievable. advice was just that you don't turn one down. And you're like, right. oh, okay. <laughs> if it's I, raining outside and a woman says, I want to suck your dick, you say, oh, Okay, how hard is that? <laughs> You'd be like, I, I guess it's not that hard. You don't turn it down just because it's raining outside. Yeah, Rain or shine. <laughs> when I hear a blowjob chicken, I just hear inspiration for my next headshot. Right. Ooh. <laughs> it's, it's a, I have a rubber chicken, but I'm blowing. Yeah. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I like that. Good? The Bushman tribute. There's so many layers to how good this is. Because Especially for a comedy store headshot. We yeah. gotta be silly in these headshots. We're really, we blew it True. since the 90s. We really dropped it. We dropped the ball. Yeah. And as women. I haven't gotten a headshot since 2008. I'm, I'm no, pretty my, bad. My manager was like, he was. He goes. Do you have a headshot? I went. Are you fucking out of your mind? And then he goes. <laughs> and he goes. We need to put a reel together for him. Like a oh, reel. Real? What year is it for you? Uh, like, what you going go back in time. Google me. <laughs> My reel yeah. is YouTube.com. <laughs> Which reminds me, Huey Lewis and the news were there. <laughs> You haven't lived until the news tell you they've never seen a thunder bump of cocaine that big. <laughs> All of the news. It wasn't the just a couple news. of the news. When I party with East Street, uh. I party with all members of East Street. <laughs> mm. Argus, what a life. Argus, yeah. You, I think when you quit drinking, you do. What you run the risk of is everything good happened decades before. Before. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I think the bag of steaks is like a new beginning. <laughs> the bag of steaks is hot. I, I've never gotten that. Have you? I have two core memories in the last 35 years. <laughs> One is dropping off the bag of steaks. The other was the time I accidentally snorted Emmanuel Lewis. <laughs> I regret neither. <laughs> Good to be here, everybody. He was always in the back, so it's hard to see. You know, I could see him trying to snort him by accident. Oh my goodness. He would always just sit in the buckets cheat. I oh, watched really? his legs. Yeah. We Aww. Webster was here one night. That's who we're talking about. <laughs> and Don, he would Don come Barris a lot. kept fucking with them. Naturally. And he's like, oh my God, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> he's like, oh, cool things. Oh, this is crazy. What you talking about, Webster? Oh no. And so he kept calling him Webster, but he kept doing all of Gary Coleman's lines. Oh no. And Webster just stood there and took it. Thanks, man. I appreciate <laughs> oh. it. I feel bad. What you talking about, Webster? <laughs> I feel bad for the little man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. He didn't it. care. He knew comedy. Well, the he guy who was in Me, Myself, and Irene, the little person yeah, that was in it. Angry. Oh, yeah. He was yeah. here, and he plays the elf in um, yes. Bad yeah. Santa. Best he was movie. here once with his son, and his son's like a grown man, you know, like an yeah. adult. And I said <laughs> you accidentally, mean a but I didn't mean it like that. But I went, oh my God, it must be so amazing. Your son's like a grown up or whatever. But I, the way I said it was like, your son's like a real, like, I. I turned out to be a real human. He was son. so nice about it, but it was so embarrassing. I just meant like. You could give birth to I'm real just people. Like, oh my God. That's I just always think up. like when people's kids are adults, how fucking weird that is. Like you just have like an adult you're going to stuff with. But it just sounded it like I was like, right. yeah. I was like, oh my God, did he put you in a little in a little carriage and push you here? <laughs> Who pushed so you bad. here? <laughs> Throw you in a, a pillowcase and oh, bring you down. So Do you remember bad. Dice's bit about that? They could grow real people, <laughs> and you could when they get to a certain age. You, who are you gonna tell me what to do, Dad? Uh, it was so dumb. It was so dumb that it was great. Uh, I mean, as a concept, I like it. I think we could <laughs> get Dice to re-explore it. I'll we should bring him. it back. We got to bring back that. We, he's got to bring back the Ford Siegfried and Roy too. bit. Ford, Ford failing failing too. too. I'll play the uh, who's the guy who died? Gilbert Godfrey. I'll, yeah, I'll play oh the my Gilbert, God, Godfrey you'd be a great part. Gilbert Godfrey part. Gilbert Godfrey, you're so annoying. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> what? What do we need? Uh, Gilbert. Who else was in that? Um, Wayne Newton. Uh, oh, it was um, Al Bundy, Ed O'Neill. Oh, it was in it. Yeah, I saw it like four years ago. I can't remember, but I loved it. I remember uh, when we started dating. He made me watch it, and that's uh, so not okay to make someone you're dating <laughs> kidding, watch your work. Make me, you're so full of shit. It was on. <laughs> yes, you did. It, it was, was on TBS oh, or something you know, like that. It's on. And we left it on. It was and a VHS I was just like, <laughs> recorded copy of it from TBS in 19... 19- hey, you said this was on real TV. Why are you rewinding it? <laughs> it was Crystal Pepsi. It's just him acting out all the roles, making you watch. <laughs> oh, oh, 
so good. You're going to love this, Eleanor, because I'm about ready to say, give me good money. <laughs> when he plays drums on her tits, so good. It really is so funny. But I, I it, it was on TBS, right? And I go, oh yeah, this is the only way I've ever seen it. And then oh, he the goes, no, no, yeah. yeah. So then we put the VHS in, and I was like, oh my god, he's curses like every yeah, it's second. Crazy. I didn't know, but the, the he said the pr- director, I think it was Rennie Harlan, was like, yeah, you have to. Too. Th- this is what we're doing. Like yeah. more, 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 right. more. And then I was like, I never knew there was curses in it because yeah, I've it so only funny. seen it on. I'm like that's yeah, he's got a nice relationship with this kid. Yeah. <laughs> Like, look how cool they get along. They're on the beach, whatever it was. I don't, uh, I'm not your dad, kid. <laughs> it changes a little bit in the wrong Where? Story. What's up with, what's he up to? Who? I seen oh, Andrew? Yeah. Uh, he's doing great. We just did Baltimore last weekend. We have, we still. That's not convincing. We were there for the bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your, your bridge fell Baltimore. down. I don't know how we're going to get there. I called wheels. <laughs> I said, wheels, you do bridges. Uh, we did, uh, yeah. We just did Carnegie. Like it was fun. We've been yeah. doing a lot. Yeah, it's live, great. But he's he in New Coast York. Yeah. Oh, he's he living stays in, okay, in New York. He He'll be here in a, a little bit. But um, I know, he comes back and forth. Him. He just doesn't hang as much. Yeah, yeah. He used to come here fuck every night. Yeah, I used with, to see him. He come here when, when fuck we were every night. <laughs> but when we man. were working here, I was waiting tables. And yeah. Ricky was the door guy. It, he would come and like, because he was going through a divorce, so he'd come here and like put us, cast us in like his There's reality, a lot of reality show. show footage. And we're like, there. we're we have to work, you know. I'd have a tray of drinks. He's like, no, no, I need this on, shot. Let's... I'm working the back door. I was only ever I was Argus exclusively in all this footage. <laughs> now do the line about the hot peanuts again. Like, the hot peanuts. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't know the thing Argus used to do. No. I don't know. I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the bit. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm very young. We How had old it. were you when you started working here? You were a little I was 21 young. when I started yeah. working. Yeah. When did you get here? The world I famous. I was 20. It was 2012. Did you start it in New York and then came here? I was like 29, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean your eight. I meant your year. Yeah, uh, your age, you can tell. It's fine. Uh, 2012. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, because when you're, uh, uh, you, to me, Annie, like, here for the is death rattle. Here. The good like, years. Because you get the store. Oh, I've been Which is what I things. love. I've been through the things. I've seen some eras <laughs> of the store. But 2012 is a good year. One time I yelled, I remember yelling at one of the managers once and being like, can you can the store just not suck for one fucking night? Because they like gave my purse away to some prostitute. Because Dave, I'm sorry, the fucking, what the okay? Dave Pierce. Dave Pierce would bring where you're like, are you a stripper or a prostitute or both? Like, what are you? He's paying you to be here. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sweaty. So we can leave funny. that name in. He's he's, he's dead. deceased. I've always so. wanted to tell the story, and he was yeah. still living. And I, it's we'd fine. He's still sweating. You can't def- you can't get us with defamation. We right love now. the turtle smasher. Go ahead. We loved him. I, I didn't loved- care for the man at all. <laughs> I just remember when he was so sweaty at Montreal once, and he was like, he went, "One day I'll be repping you," and I went, "I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, David. Very hey. sweaty. You ever been to a luau? <laughs> oh my God, this pig is sweating." <laughs> But he was in the bucket seats with these women. My friend was here. I throw my purse next to my friend. I go, can you watch my purse? Or maybe he didn't hear me say that or whatever. I go on stage. I come off stage. There's no purse. I go, where's my fucking purse? And then the manager at the time, who was Eric, goes, he's like, oh, that was yours? I gave it to the drunk prostitute. I'm like, you gave my purse to the prostitute? You didn't, like, look in it and see, like... Yeah. I think my passport, but, like, everything I owned yeah, yeah. was, like, in it. I was like, uh... Like, yes, my fault. I left it unattended, but also, like, you just gave it to someone without looking. What a fucking idiot. And then it was just a long night. Richie had to drive... My glasses were in there, so Richie had to drive me home. Oh, you couldn't see. I couldn't oh, no. see. It was so crazy. Oh, Richie, someone no. had to follow Richie in his car. He had to drive my car. It was like so crazy. That must have been a fun ride though with Richie. I got to be honest. Oh, you well, know. let's just say he drove a little. He drove a little fast. He wasn't falling asleep, and um, <laughs> he might be a little bit of old Argus. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, when she when she says that, what she means is one hundred percent McDonald's oh, breakfast. 
Wait, what? Say this again, She's Richie? She's talking about getting McDonald's breakfast. Yeah, Nothing she, more. Sometimes you got to speed if you want to get the McGriddles McGriddle. when they're hot. Yeah. And I did get my oh. nighttime McGriddle. But so anyway, so they so they dropped me off that my boyfriend had to drive me at the time, had to drive me to I got a call from the body shop, the strip club. Yeah, great. And by and it was just this man with a thick accent being like, Anne, Anne, because that's my legal name. And he's like, I have your purse. So then I go to the strip club. They won't let me in because I don't have my ID. I go, okay, my ID is in there. And they're like, no way. And I go, someone called me from here. They're like, nobody called you from here. Well, I was like, my purse is in there. Let me in. Like, it's a guy with an accent. There's like, there, there's only one guy with an accent. He's So I finally convinced him to take me into this guy with the accent who's a bartender. He goes, I don't know who the fuck you are. Get out of here. And then, so I'm leaving. And then I get another call. And it's the fucking guy again. He goes, I have your purse. I'm going to leave. And I go, where are you? I'm not allowed in. He's like, oh, I'm the owner. It was the owner. So I had to go up to the owner's office. He had my purse. Oh, my God. And then I ate pizza with him and looked at all the surveillance cameras and hung out with him for a little bit. But I was like. <laughs> Body was shop like, is great. But I literally was like, are you. F Brian's <laughs> laughing because he loves strip clubs. Been to, but also. Been to some you, could tell a, you could tell it's a guilty <laughs> that laugh. That is a giggle of knowing that office. I guess someone's been brought to the office. <laughs> Can you come up to the office, Brian? But God damn, was it annoying. They wouldn't let me in forever. I'm I'm like, I'm in like so annoying. Like, do you want? You think I want to like steal a cop of a tit or something? Like, what do you think I want? They are fully naked over there, right? Is that the one? Uh, I don't remember if I saw because there's no not. alcohol. Yeah, Brian knows. Yes, <laughs> right, Brian. Thank yeah. you. I know we used to hang there, but this and crazy bitch, girls. This fucking dumb prostitute just dropped my purse in the middle of the floor. Everything was still in it, so it was good. But, but I remember just she's going like, to "This the, isn't mine." This I just ugh. went to Eric. I go, "Can the can the comedy store just not fucking suck for one minute of the fucking." <laughs> and he was like, well, we'll bring it up at the next meeting. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know if we can do anything <laughs> about that. that. He's like, I'm too busy remodeling the uh, I'm historic putting, I'm bathroom. I'm installing these uh, prison bathrooms. So that yeah. we can have them replaced in a week. I hate those fucking OR bathrooms, new OR bathrooms. It's It literally is like, okay, I'm you visiting can't. someone in prison and yeah. this is where you we're... You can't even, it's hard to even catch people fucking in there. But anymore. you always see people's penises too. It you're not wrong. It swings open when you're going yeah. in You always see a peen. And you can still look in the windows yeah, on that's the. Fine. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. That's fine. But now it's all Welcome the men's back to room. peeping toms. <laughs> it used to be the girls' room, and the comics would sit on that, oh. and they would peek in. We caught them a, con uh, a bunch of times, and I was like, "You that, little motherfuckers!" That never happened. <laughs> Fine, Eleanor. Rick. I'll play along. Eleanor, not even, not even as drunk Argus did he look. Uh, we at wouldn't do that. That's not true, Argus. What I do, you is, wouldn't go up there because you're busy on stage. I would walk back there and just yell in the window. You need steaks in there. I got steaks. <laughs> Jesus, Argus, Finish you never brought me any steaks. Let's get to the cooking. Where's my steak? I bet he Argus. did. I bet he did bring her steak. <laughs> oh, no uh, way. For her black eye. Uh, no. right, so Annie, I got go. Annie, <laughs> to, to put the, on the yeah, eye. Yeah, that's yeah, Annie Letterman. And, Annie uh, Letterman. Thank you so much. It was so fun. I love you. Can you. See her. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Any Where? Guys, you can go to, when does this come out? Who knows? In a couple weeks. In None a couple of our weeks. Business. Go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. And I have uh, my show, Annie Wood and Friends. I'm yes. going to get you guys up on it. And um, when she tap my they'll be on it. They'll be on it. Get me on it. No, I will. I will. I will. No, um, it's great. In the main room, right? Yeah, yeah. in the main Killer. room. Killer. Killer. That's great. Um, come to those. Just go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows. And you can see Annie Wood every Thursday on YouTube. Annie Wood. Love you guys. I love it. All right. You're the you best. Thank you. I need to get you on that. Look at Rick. Are we still live? Check out Argus Hamilton tonight <laughs> on the YouTubes. Bag Check it out and all. on uh, your local cable provider, Time Warner Cable. Do you have any grilling tips on there for the steaks well, you drop off? If you're cooking a T-bone, make sure you leave it on for 30 seconds longer than you think you need Got to. Got it. That's two interesting. Minutes, two minutes shorter than you should. <laughs> Good to be here, everybody. Come check out Mitts. Uh, she's going to oh, be putting a great, great. show together. I, I got a special on YouTube. Wouldn't that be great? Go I'm check Marcus it out. I'm Marcus Hamilton. That's Diane Cannon. We'll see you next week. <laughs> We're going to have a couple of great guests. Uh, George Papard is going to be here. Oh, that's great. See you next week, everybody. My name's Mitzi, not Diane. Uh, to check out No Country for All Women on YouTube, Comedy Store, YouTube channel. Check it out. Thank you. Bye.